Good morning again to all of you. There is excitement in the air, but only a few chosen ones could sense that excitement. At sana tayo ay nabibilang dun sa few chosen ones na yon. Because we are in the season of Advent. And just to be excited, you can look at around you and see to your right and to your left is a blessing of God in your life. Someone is here to cause you to be excited. Can you turn to your neighbor and say, I'm glad you're here this morning. We are glad. But you know, someone is even more glad than we are, that we are here this morning. His name is Jesus, and he is glad. Oy, buti magsaseo ngayon yung dancer na yon. Oy, maganda yung choir, nakakanta ngayon yung ka, dapat kumanta, o tutugtug yun sa band, o magsaserve yung deacon, o yun ang, yung pare yung magsaserve. Yon, God is excited for us. Because we are here today. Umakit pa lang tayo sa hagdana, nakikita ng Panginoon. And the angels are saying, andito siya, nandito siya. Nagsimba. Hallelujah. Kahit bawal magsabi ng hallelujah sa Advent. Hallelujah pa rin. Advent is here. What is Advent? May maginang naglalakad sa kanilang barangay, isang maagang araw ng Disyembre. Nakasalubong nila ang kanilang kapitbahay, yung kumari nung nanay. At habang nagkasalubong sila, sabi nung kumari, sabi nung kapitbahay, Mare, para sa Advent season, I am going to abstain from posting memes in Facebook. So, tumuloy na yung kumaring kapitbahay, naiwan na yung mag-ina uli. Ang sabi nung ina dun sa 8-year-old son niya, Anak, alam mo ba kung anong meme? Papaliwanag ko sa'yo. Sabi nung 8-year-old son, Nay, alam ko na kung anong meme. Ano ba naman kayo? Pero, ano yung Advent? What is Advent? And that's the same question, perhaps, that we have today. We know Netflix and chill, but what is Advent? We know how to flex, but what is Advent? We know how to upload and to download, but what is Advent? What is this season that seemingly is so important? What is these two candles for now lit on a wreath on a furniture which is the only furniture added throughout the whole Christian year? Wala nang iba pang ilalagay dito at babaguhin kung hindi ito. Bakit kaya? Ano nga ba Ang kahulugan. What is the significance of all of these? Because many people today are unaware, oblivious, and ignorant of the season which is supposed to come to prepare us for Christmas. There must be a reason that was placed there. That something awesome is about to take place in the realm of the Spirit. And yet many are insensitive to it. Perhaps that is why zombies today are very popular among many people. Because our liking for zombies is a mirror of the state of society that we are in today. Bangag, sabi nga nila. Lutang. Binubusinahan na, tuloy pa rin ang pagpo-post ng memes sa Facebook. Why? The general theme of Advent is hope. 
hope for something great that is about to take place. Hope that will pierce the darkness that has shrouded been over the darkness of human lives who live in desperation for answers, desperation for relief to come into their lives. Maraming taong desperado. I was in Carmona Medical Center this week to visit one of our brothers. And there in the ICU was another family who witnessed my giving communion to the wife of our dear beloved deacon and to his cousin. And we prayed, and this family was looking. So after our prayer, I went to them and said, Naka-confine po? Oo, nanay ko, sabi niya. Pwede ko po mamang ipag-pray ang nanay mo. And she was stone-faced. Sabi niya, Jehovah's Witnesses kami. Sabi ko, hindi na upagi. Iisang Diyos na nagpapagaling. Iisang Diyos na dakila. Ang tanging nais lang namin is ipagdasal ang nanay mo. When I said that, something happened in her face and in her how countenance. The desperation seemingly was gone. And she had a smile on her face. And she gave the name of her mom, Philomena. And so we prayed. Why? Because people are desperate for answers. O Zion, bringer of good tidings, get thee up on the heights and sing. Proclaim to a desolate people the coming of their king. See, centuries before Christ was born, wisdom already was given to a very simple truth that describes man's conditions today. It's found in Job chapter 8, and that's in your uh, message notes that you have there. Job chapter 8, verse 13 says, Those who forget God have no hope. Kaya pala desperadong maraming tao. Because they have forgotten God. Those who forget God have no hope. And this is no different from the nation of Israel more than 2,000 years ago. A momentous event was about to take place. An episode in the history of humanity which will change the course of man's situation forever. May mangyayari. Yet, even though it was earth-shattering, earth-shaking, even though it was crucial... It happened at a time when all the world was sleeping. Pulog lahat. Gabi. It happened at a time when all the world was partying. There was no room for them in the inn. Puno na ang hotel. Ang daming mga turista. Sorry, you can't stay in our hotel. All the world was having fun, busy, consumed with their own agenda. Every Sunday, 800,000 people occupy one mall in the city. And how many malls do we have? Busy, consumed. What church has 800,000 people on a particular Sunday? And this is the reason why this character enter this character who brought into the picture the story of Advent. His name is John the Baptist, one of Advent's principal figures. And you will see who others they are in the next weeks. But today we look at this man 
a prophet sent to Israel at a time when Israel was too busy to pay attention to God. Too busy to recognize God's saving action. Too busy. He was heaven's wake-up call to those who were sleeping. He was the strange, weird, rugged, rough personality to shake the existing condition. John the Baptist was a voice of hope in the wilderness of Judea. But he is also the voice of hope in the wilderness of people's lives today. Crying out. There are three things that I just want to point out what John the Baptist cried out for during his coming. First, he cried out for change. Pagbabago. Repent. Repent, magbago na tayo. A change of lifestyle for the better. For most people, it is normal for human nature not to welcome change. Mahirap magbago. Mas okay na ako dito. Uy, tigil mo yung pagkain mo, dahil medyo lumalaki ka eh. Ang hirap naman kasi Uy, kailangan mag-exercise ka ng konti, ah. Ang hirap kasi. Uy, gumisi ka na. Ang hirap bumangon, eh. Uy, matulog ka na. Ang hirap matulog, eh. Ang hirap magbago. Natural sa atin yun. Kaya nga sa physics, may tinatawag na inertia. Ang inertia is just simply stated the tendency to resist change. Ayo kung magbago. Pero ang sigaw ng Advent ni John the Baptist, magbago ka na! Change is the first cry of Advent, John the Baptist. 2 Corinthians 3.18 says, And the Lord, who is the Spirit, makes us more and more and more like Him as we are changed into His glorious image. Nagiging kamukha tayo ng Diyos araw-araw ng pagbabago natin. Pero kailangan simulan natin yun. Kailangan gawin natin. Mahirap? True. But it is a call and a cry. The second call on cry of John the Baptist is action. Kumilos ka na. You see, action that will produce positive results in our lives. Sapagkat tayo ay tao lamang, gusto-gusto nating pag-usapan ng problema. Alam mo, talagang medyo inihingal na ako pag umaakyat eh. Talagang ang hirap talaga, kailangan talaga. Ano yan? Sa pag-usapan, di ba? Yeah. Anong gagawin mo? Alam mo, yung anak mo, pasaway talaga eh. Gabi na naman, umuwi ka gabi. Ano ba naman yan? Anong, ang daming problema. Ang gulo-gulo ng kwarto mo, ineng. Alam mo, ang dumi, lagi nakakalat, nakatapon lahat ng hinubaran mo, na, lahat, yung kama mo, hindi mo inaayos. Masarap pag-usapan ang problema. Pero the call is not just talk about it, action. Uy, gumising ka. Maligo ka naman. Ayoko, maginaw eh. Maginaw lang yung unang buhos. Ang gawin mo, itapon mo yung unang buhos, tapos ipaligo mo yung pangalawa. Action. Hindi ba? Action. We need to take the first step, which is usually the most difficult effort we take. Kailan mo ba kakausapin yung tatay niya? 
Um, nahihiya ako eh. Ba't ka nahihiya? Magtatanong ka lang, pwede ko po bang ligawan ang anak niyo? Ano ang worst na mangyayari doon? Ang sasabihin niya lang, hindi. O ano ngayon? Namatay ka na? Hindi. Umaksyon ka na. Eh baka sabihin hindi. Hindi, umulit ka. May third Sunday of Advent pa naman. Eh. Next week, Sir, pwede po ang lumigaw? Hindi. May fourth Sunday pa. Dadating ang Pasko, baka sakaling maisama siya, sabihin, sige na nga. Action agad. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13 says, So prepare your minds for action and exercise self-control. Put all your hope in the gracious salvation that will come to you when Jesus Christ is revealed to the world. Action. John the Baptist cries for action. Get ready. Prepare the way of the Lord. Produce fruit. Action. Change and action. The third is the cry of John the Baptist is a cry of inspiration. Mahirap magbago. Amen. Mahirap mag-act. Amen. Pero meron tayong katulong. Ang tawag sa kanya, Spiritu Santo. John the Baptist said, I baptize you with water, but soon you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And this is the spirit we have to change. This is the spirit we have to take action. On our own strength, it's hard. It's difficult. Difficult to change. But with the power of the Spirit of God, we can. Romans 15, 13, which was read earlier, says, I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in Him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Change, action, inspiration. Developing hope in our lives. But how do we do that? How can we l- allow change, action, and being inspired? In Romans 15, which is our second reading today, it says there, And the scriptures were written to teach and encourage us by giving us hope. This book is not a fantasy. It's not a fairy tale. It is not something to decorate our homes. It is holy scriptures that are to produce hope in our lives. To make a difference. We want to change, but we can't. Have you read scriptures? We want to take action, but we can't. Have you meditated on the word of God? We want to be inspired. The word of the Lord is perfect. Restoring the soul. The testimony of the Lord is clean. It makes the wise the simple. The fear of the Lord is true. Rejoicing the heart. The commandments of the Lord are right. Giving us inspiration. You see, these are things which God has sent to give us hope because the King is coming. And He gave us his initial pasalubong so that we can enjoy his coming. Dumating na yung balikbayan box. Buksan na natin. Uy, amoy Amerika pa. Amoy langit. Bakit? Kina nagpadala niyan? Si Kuya Mike, galing siya. Darating na siya eh. Darating na. 
Talaga, narinig si Kuya Mike? Excited na ako. Excited ka na rin? Hindi eh. Bakit? Hindi ko makilala si Kuya Mike eh. Bakit ako may excite? Bakit tayo may excite kung hindi natin kilala yung babalik na ba- babalik bayan? Nagpadala na siya oh. May balik bayan box. Amuin mo, amuin. Kalangit? Hindi naman eh. Why? Because we don't know Kuya Mike. Know the king and you will be excited. And how do you know the king? It's here. It's all here. That's why in the last of your handouts, I am challenging you every day, starting today with the scriptures in your handouts and tomorrow until Saturday. For one week, resolve to take action and open God's balikbayan box for you to know hope in our lives. Amen. Let's all stand, please.